crude tube again. And uh, not sports this time, back into music, but not, not an in the car and in your face. I am in the car, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go and do this one about Bon Scott from ACDC. And something he doesn't get credit for. And I know most of the world doesn't want to believe this, but this album right here... Back in Black, with all those big hit singles on it. Those are written by Bon Scott, not Brian Johnson. Bon Scott wrote most of Back in Black. Let's go through the facts of this right now. Bon Scott died in February of 1980, two weeks prior to his passing. A friend of his, Pete Way from the band UFO claims in his autobiography that Bon Scott was in a real good mood because he had just finished writing all the lyrics for the upcoming ACDC album which he was to submit to Angus and Malcolm Young so they can uh, so they can create the music around them Bon Scott finished writing songs lyrics they were submitted and then he turned up dead now Pete Way yes a drug addict an alcoholic whatever you want to call call him I don't think he would make up a story like that there are other people who can corroborate corroborate that story but Bon Scott wrote these songs on this album there's no question about it just look at the song titles you shook me all night long have a drink on me giving the dog a bone what do you do for money honey those are Bon Scott songs not Brian Johnson now if you want to dispute this you show me in the Brian Johnson era of ACDC any album that is consistently as good as this one any of them. For those about to rock, mediocre. Flick of the switch, mediocre. Flying the wall, not so good. Blow up your video, not so good. The razor's edge, okay. Ball breaker, not so good. Stiff upper lip, not so good. Black ice, okay. Rocker bust, okay. They have never made an album close to being as good as this one. Why is that? It's obvious. You don't have the guy who's writing the song lyrics. You know, with the wink in his eye. It's a little bit of, like, comic relief. Bon Scott knew how to write songs. And he knew what it took to bring ACDC to the next level. He did. And he never got credit for this. The word is, as well, the young brothers, Angus and Malcolm, used to send money over to Bon Scott's family because of the sales of this album are up around 35 million or 40 million worldwide. People don't want to believe the obvious. Look at ACDC's track record since Back in Black. Is there any album in their catalog that the casual fan has bought and can listen to straight through and totally enjoy since Back in Black. Casual fan. No. Do you know why? Bon Scott. Bottom line. I'm not taking anything from Brian Johnson. But they stopped. ACDC stopped giving him writing credits. I think by the late 80s. It was just Angus and Malcolm writing the songs. They didn't even give Brian Johnson writing credits anymore because he wasn't writing the songs. He didn't. Brian Johnson didn't write songs in his previous band called uh, Gordy or Jordy, whatever they were called. He was just a singer. He wasn't writing the songs. He couldn't come up with lyrics like that, and he couldn't come up with lyrics on the spot in like March of 1980, three weeks after. Bon Scott dies to come up with the lyrics 
for this particular album on the spot. Brian Johnson could not do that. He wasn't that kind of guy. He was a lead singer. He's a good lead singer. He didn't write the songs on Back in Black. Be real, people. Enjoy the music. But don't buy into false narratives. Back in Black. This is a Bon Scott album. Believe it. Cheers.